Hey everybody, welcome to Groups Content. Uh, so excited to be with you guys today. This past weekend we talked about what it looks like to have trust in our relationship with God. Uh, and the big key scripture passage out of that is coming out of Proverbs 3 verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not onto your own understanding. And so often in my life, and I'm sure so often in yours as well, we trust in things but only in our understanding sometimes. right? We lean into our own understandings and if our understanding is correct and we have life planned out like we want it to and our life's going in that way, then we trust, right? But so often, uh, that's not what trust looks like. Trust is when we realize that God's plan for our lives is the plan we trust in. And sometimes that may not look like we think our lives should go. So fully trusting God is fully being okay with whatever road God has you on. Um, so I'm so excited uh, for you guys to have to walk through some of these questions today, um, and we're going to jump right in with this first question. So it says this, have you ever not trusted in a material item? And for me, I shared over this weekend in the message uh, that I don't trust frozen lakes because I've had a bad experience with a snowmobile on a frozen lake. So that trust is now broken. Do you guys have any experiences in your life where you no longer trust a specific material item? Question number two. Talk about a time in your life when you've had a harder time trusting someone in your life and why, why did you have trouble trusting them? Question number three. What would someone need to do to gain your trust back? If your trust was broken, what would they need to do? Would they need to prove something or what would that look like? Question number four. And we're going to start moving with these questions to not just a material item or someone in particular, but to our relationship with God. So this first question um, with that idea has there ever been trust broken between you and God where you felt like maybe he wasn't listening or he wasn't answering in the way you thought? Um, have you ever put expectations on God to prove himself? Spend a few minutes reading Matthew 26, verses 36 through 39, and then describe what kind of a relationship you see between Jesus and God, and what, what can you see there? Question number six. Um, and I want you to think about where you may be struggling in your life with trust right now, especially with God. What areas in your life do you need to trust God that he has set the path ahead of you? Uh, what things in your life are you pacing with worry about? And then as we always end with groups, I'd love if you had some conversations about if there was any devotions that hit you hard this week that you want to talk about, or if there's anything in the message that spoke to you in a different way. Have some of those conversations, and then end the night with prayer. Make sure that you're praying for your group members throughout the week, because we strongly believe in the power of prayer and what it can do, um, especially in a close community between our groups. So um, may, spend some time doing that, and then if you do have more time after that check out our digging deeper section this week again it's going into that proverbs 3 5 and 6 trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not onto your own understanding but it it looks at the next level of that so the question that comes with it how do we know the difference between trusting in the lord and trusting our own understanding 
Because if you think of a situation, how do you know the difference between those two? How do you know when you're actually leaning into your own understanding and not trusting the Lord's? We're going to talk about what that looks like in groups and have you dive a little bit deeper into those things uh, through those questions. So if you have time, jump into those. Otherwise, we will see you guys next week.